Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody so it really is important that you do take whatever resonates with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. If ever you do have any questions, if ever you would like to contact me, um, you would like your own reading or you have any type of question, please do not hesitate and please do contact me. My information is right below into the YouTube description box and it will be my great pleasure to assist you. That being said, if you do enjoy the channel, you have not yet subscribed, please do click onto the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself and it is always and greatly appreciated and I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, let's begin this reading. So this is a reading with the universe. The universe wants to give you some messages on true love and romance. So let's go see what messages these are. We're going to begin with some commitment. I'm going to follow up with life purpose and we're going to conclude with some spiritual maturity. Let's begin with commitment. Now a healthy commitment is the unshakable bedrock of a loving and a secure relationship. Now when you truly commit to being in a loving relationship, you actually create a, a living entity. So there's you there's your partner and then there's your relationship. You will have commitments to yourself, commitments to your partner and commitments to the relationship. All three of these elements are going to need ongoing love, attention and nurturing. Naturally it's important to consider what you are committing yourself to and it's imperative to commit to loving the person as they appear to you in the present moment. Not how you think they should be once you knock them into shape. It is vital that you see through these delusions as well as the temptations to diminish potentially stressful habits or even circumstances. In an existing relationship beset by problems, it is important to commit to your own health and well-being first. And once you are feeling more balanced, you are going to have more positive energy to share. Commitment, it can be a prison or it can be the key to freedom and great personal growth. Now you've received this message today because your angels and your guides, they are reminding you to recommit or to commit to your own happiness before you begin a new relationship or attempt to revive the one that you are currently involved in. Now, true commitment, it's not about trying to get more from the other person or signing a contract that just hangs that threat of legal recourse over your head. No, this is about trying to change. It's about the unhealthy commitments of trying to change or to rescue someone by draining obligation that no one can really truly be happy. So when you are ready to commit to your life and who you need to be, an appropriate love match is going to appear, but with a commitment that is simply equal to your own beautiful commitment. Moving on forward now to your following message. We're going to be speaking here about life purpose. This is about your own natural intuition and the genuine wisdom of your heart. It is here to guide you. Now at the deepest level of our existence, loving and being loved is a major part of our life purpose. We feel it within us all of the time as our souls call for deeper connection and meaningful expression of the most powerful force of the universe and that is love. So during those times in your life when you're not in a relationship or you're experiencing relationship problems, it can be empowering to remember your greater life purpose as a being of love. Giving and receiving love is not an act of confined to uh, intimate relationships or family. You can enjoy this beautiful energy anywhere that you are and you can do that by choice. Remember that you are part of a huge family here on earth connected to every living thing. In order to attract the kind of love that you want or to rekindle love in your current relationship, it is absolutely necessary to be love whenever you can. This is the higher life purpose for all of us. How is it possible to be love? Well, firstly, it's important to realize 
that it's not about being perfect or saintly. Being love actually comes naturally when you take a step back from your routine and from your attitudes and you tune into who you really are. Now your own natural intuition and the genuine wisdom of your heart is simply going to guide you. So you have received this message by the universe today because the universe would like you to experience yourself as love so that you can feel your higher life purpose but firsthand. You need to trust that love is not an external thing that you must find and that you must keep. It is unlimited and it is always within you. And to conclude, we're going to go and speak here about some spiritual maturity. Now, this is about honoring your own spiritual growth and that of your beloved is absolutely vital for that loving relationship. So what is spiritual maturity and why is it important in your relationship? Take a moment. Think about how you would like to answer those questions. Spiritual maturity is also going to take into account spiritual compatibility. So, for example, if you believe in reincarnations, karma and a higher power that lovingly guides you, and then how compatible can you be with a person who believes in a judgmental God and only one opportunity to get it right before you're either sent to heaven or to hell? Now, being spiritually mature means that you can accept other person's views while being able to choose the very best match for yourself. A spiritually mature person doesn't have all the answers to life, the universe and everything. But at the very least, they will have given the topics some type of consideration. Spiritually mature people, they endeavor to think for themselves because the maturing process actually requires that we question what our family and what our culture teaches us until we come to our own center of belief and our own spiritual truth. Now, you receive this message today because it's important for you to prioritize spiritual maturity in yourself, in your partner. And this is going to aid you in connecting with a true soulmate and allow your existing relationship to simply grow. An understanding of each other's beliefs and feelings can be realized through respectful and mindful conversation. Ask your prospective or existing partner what their beliefs are. And never assume, create a space in your relationship for spiritual maturity to simply flourish. Have the courage to explore beyond the beliefs and the ideas that were handed to you as a child and be willing to take whatever steps are necessary to mature yourself. And when you do this, you are going to attract the best person for you. If you are in an existing relationship, you can open doors to many new and exciting possibilities for you and for your partner to simply enjoy. So that being said, this does conclude your reading. I do hope that you enjoyed it. I do hope that it brought you some interesting thoughts. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe. If you do have any questions, you'd like a reading, my information is right below into the YouTube description box. Uh, I wish you a beautiful day. Thank you for being there. Many blessings and I will see you tomorrow with new messages.